In this video, I will explain how to integrate the Google sign in into the Flutter app. First, you have to go to on the console.cloud.google.com. Then, you have to create a new project. I uh, give some name for the project. So for example, here uh, I give the name for the demo project. So, this is the existing project. You have to click new project. And in the project, you can give some name or you can simply create create button. And then in the next step, you have to go to on the AP and services. Click AP and services, then go to for the enable AP and services. And then you have to search people AP. Actually, Google sign in API is currently not available, so you have to search people API. So go to on the library and then search people ap so this is the people ap you have to just enable it so after enable the ap go to on the OAuth console screen so this is the next step then here you have to select the So it's loading. So before that, I will show you the app. So now you have to click get started. And now you have to choose the, I mean, click the app name, give some name for that. Demo. And you can choose the name and just click audience. And then here you have to choose the external because the external for the public uses. So here you can notice that select external as the user type since your app is for the public users. So public users means a uh, number of users are enrolled on the project. So then click external and then here you can enter the same email ID. And then click next and then click continue and then click create. So in the next step, you have to go to under OAuth, create OAuth client. So here you have to select the application type. It's a, currently it's an Android, so the Android then you don't need to change the name and then package name. So package name means you have to copy and pay, uh, paste the package name. I, I hope already you have what is what about the package name. I hope already you have the package name. And then you have to get a fingerprint. So just copy that and paste it on your terminal. Then it will be. And the default password is Android. So here you have to get your path. So path means. So this is the path. For example, I will show the path. So this is the path. So this is the step for go to on the path. And then, and then the next step is after that verify ownership. So currently, and then after that, the our app is integrated to the Google sign in. So after the testing, you can go for the production. So production means you can go and testing to publish app. So for the publish app, you need a verification. So now I will run my app. So this is my app. So now I will log in by now proceed to checkout. So now when I click proceed to checkout, it will open the account. So this is the country Google. So now I will choose the second account and now I can be able to place the order. So now you can check it out here. So here this is the email is showing. If I click log out, it will be log out. And then now it's showing a guest. Now again I will log in and now it's again asking the password. 
set also nay logged in so now it's showing the jj to two original so this is the steps for integrating a google sign in into your app so if you have any doubt just comment below and and another only step is okay fine you have to create a one xml file string that xml file to copy the client id okay so if you